Okay, um, so we're in Robson here and we'll try and give you a sort of impartial view of the uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, 12 WX. Um, if you hear a noise in the background, that's my daughter, baby daughter, sleeping down there, snoring, okay? So it's not some weird sexual noise going on in the background. Right, um, let's get rid of the keyboard because that's the whole idea, isn't it? Um, now, there were some people that said, I was actually getting very nervous about this, that uh, Mudbox had a problem with... Um, the redraw rates on um, with the Cintiq, um, with it being slow. Now you can see there, it's that's pretty spot on. You know what I mean? It's it's bang on the money for me. Um, now the drivers I'm using are not the latest drivers. I will grant you that. Uh, these are the drivers that I was using for me um, the over that way. Um, so I don't know whether that's got a bearing or not. Um, Setting the hotkeys up for Mudbox, um, you've got to make some sort of a uh, some sort of a um, sort of happy medium. So the way I've got mine set is that's Shift, that's Control, um, that is the brush strength, right? That one there is brush size, right? But I can also, I don't actually need that one because I can do it with this. I've got to set with that as well, which I use more than that, so I'll probably change this. Uh, this is my alt key. Now over here, I've got my subdivision levels down and up. I've also got, I used to do that, and undo as well. Um, so there you go. Um, redraw rates and stuff like that are spot on the money. Um, and I've tried in a few applications, obviously. Um, it's, it's all good. Um, it's a nice bit of kit. Now the, the reason I got one of these, there's a couple of reasons why I got one of these and not a... Um, a 21 WX. Main reason was money. Yes, um, this is half the price of the one that's 21 inches. Now, if I if you could see all of my desk, I'll try and zoom out a bit. It's it's not that big, which means it would take about this much of my desk, and I'll have no room to put my cup of coffee and stuff. All right. Um, so that was a big factor. Also, I have heard that a lot of people have been saying that. Um, the tracking is a lot worse. Whereas we're here, I'll try and zoom this in so you can see right in. And you see, your cursor is, if I put that there, it's just behind, right? Like that, you can see it's slightly behind, but it's not so much that you'll actually bloody notice, okay? So we're going to do that. Um, I will quickly, you said putting the pen in his mouth, um, start Photoshop up and just, just show you the it's basically the same sort of speed you're going to get in Photoshop. Um, 21 WX, I say, it apparently likes to shit and it gets really warm. Now this has been on all damn day. Now, I'm going to zoom out quickly. And right down here, right, this bit here, um, the cord goes up here, by the way, so it obviously runs round inside here. Uh, it's warm, but it, see, people have said to me that it's burning hot. It's not. That is nowhere near burning hot. Um, it's been on since um, 1 o'clock this afternoon. And it is still, I'm still going to touch it. I don't need a glove running on me. I'm not getting stuck to it. Um, so, a lot of the horror stories I've heard um, are actually being, have actually been wrong, you know. Um, so, what was that? So, I haven't got the hotkeys set up for Photoshop yet. Mainly, I am not. As I was saying, tell you time and time again, a very good 2D artist. Because my brain works in. Three dimensions, not two. But it's a lot easier. You can see there, there's actually there's more of a lag on Photoshop than there is on uh, on Woodbox and the digital sculpting app. So you know, if you're a digital sculptor, I'd say um, if you're serious and only if you were serious about um, digital sculpting, then it's worth the investment. But this is not Harry Potter's magic wand. Right, it is not going to suddenly make you into a fabulous artist. Um, what it will do is make life a little bit easier, you know. And that's it. Um, it means that there's no interface between your hand and the brain. Now, one thing I did notice, at least I was trying to get down even the camera. <laughs> if I tell you what, I'll put it. Right, I had a bit of an accident there trying to realign the camera and everything went tits up. Right, um, what have I noticed about this thing? Um, to be quite blunt with you, um, it's 
quite difficult when you're converting from one of these tablets, you know, normal in Tuas 3, Tuas 4, uh, over. And the reason why is your brain compensates for the tracking problems. Because there's tracking problems between, you know, both. It's not obvious until you change to a Cintiq exactly how raw um, the Intuas are. Um, because you're having to convert and this whole hand-eye coordination thing. Now I've got really good hand-eye coordination. You know, I used to be in a skate as for God's sake, so you know, we'll take that as red, right? Um, and there's lots of other people out there that have that, but you will still find it not quite as natural. It's the reason why, if you notice, people who get a Cintiq, um, within about a month, their work suddenly starts getting better and better and better and better, because it, once you're used to it, it's, you know, it makes it easier. Um, it is good, especially good for very fine detail work. You know those fine little bits like wrinkles on the eyes, you know, like over there, like, you know, because I'm aging a bit now, getting wrinkly and stuff. Um, it's perfect for stuff like that because you can get right into that fine detail and you're not going to be a micron off. It's going to be absolutely where you want. Um, I was on a mess around before with uh, an old wrinkly head of mine, an old one. I was amazed how easy it was to get exactly where I wanted, you know, in a matter of seconds. Um, there is a conversion factor. You can hear Emily snoring. Isn't that off-putting? Right, um, there's a conversion factor in your brain, right? It's, you're not going to pick it up and go, whoa, this is perfect. It's not going to feel perfect when you first pick up a Cintiq. Um, but you can see that part of that's unlearning what you've learned from a normal tablet, okay? Um, so I'd say, yeah, it's worth getting. It's not a magic wand. One important thing, right? I'll just quickly twiddle this round again, right? You see, right, round where this border is round here, within about an inch of that, right, about that all the way around, the tracking goes a bit wobbly. Um, so ideally, if you're working in something, um, I'll find out where my mouse has gone because it's, it's gone all crazy at the moment. Um, it means that um, you, it's very off where I have a foot I'll say now. Um, it means you basically you're going to want to make sure that um, you are focused on the center of the model and basically close up a bit more. So I was working on this face without having to start on at the moment. It's just a dry run for uh, masterclass I'm doing, by the way. Um, you want to zoom in a bit more, a bit, a bit further. So if I was working on the eye, I'd work it like that because it's easy, you know. Don't need that, you know. Um, so it's, it's an easy matter. So what's my vertical at? It's very nice. I think we'll keep this one. So, um, if you were thinking of getting a Cintiq, if you're a professional artist, or if you're somebody that um, wants to be professional, and they've got the, if you've got the money, basically, go for it. Uh, if money is tight, uh, if you really uh, don't know whether it's for you, then it's probably not a good idea to start with a tablet and work your way up. But yeah, it's a nice bit of kit, right? I haven't even tried texturing with it yet. What I'm going to do, he says, trying to fill up the camera again. God, Emily does not snore, doesn't she? Doesn't take after me, honest. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it's lies. The voice is just lies, and it is lies. Yeah. But uh, that's got nothing to do with the review. Um, <laughs> it's good you won't edit this, isn't it? Um, what I'm going to do is in about a month's time, I'll do this again, another review, after I've had time to bed this in, because by then I'll have done two six hour back to back masterclasses in Rotterdam, and I'll have done a load of stuff over in Vienna, as well as my normal models, so that should give me more than enough time to give you an absolutely perfect and biased opinion. So I'll try it in all the apps, you know, and it works well. Um, your one thing is, you're going to want to have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a mess around with your hotkeys and stuff along here. Now at the moment I've obviously got a setup for Mudbox because that's what I use the majority of the time. Um, you can put it per application just like a normal tablet, but yeah, so my verdict. For f sort of the ability to sculpt on screen, that's a 10 out of 10, right? Um, for some of the things like the tracking problems around the corners, you know, around the edges and stuff, and uh, a couple of other things, uh, I'd give that about a 7 or an 8. Um, the tracking problems aren't a problem unless you want to go right to the edge of that bloody screen. And you don't say, oh, here, if you want to go right to that bit there, right? Oh, look at that perspective. Whee. Uh, if you want to um, go right to the very edge of the screen, then yeah, it's going to be an issue. If not, You'll be fine with it. Um, to my money, this is this is actually worth you know the money. Where the 21 WX, well, arguably it's not, especially if you're in the UK because you pay twice as much. Did you realise that you pay twice as much as the guys in the US? Yeah, bloody amazing, isn't it? We should get two, you know, for the same price as you guys in the US. We should get two of them, right? Because you get charged what two grand, right? Two thousand dollars. We get charged two thousand pound. 
So it weighs three. In fact, I've seen them for four. Uh, so you tell me. <laughs> I'm going to say with you. I'm getting up. Front. But anyway, yeah, it's worth buying, right? Uh, it's not a magic wand. It's not going to suddenly turn you fantastic overnight, but it'll make life easier. Bye, bye.